Hello, my name is Chrissy Nyson and today I'm going to speak a little about what I've been reading about the GDPR, the Act itself and how it will impact on businesses, not only in the UK and the EU, but all over the world. In fact, any business or organisation that collects or processes data from any UK or EU citizen will be affected. This includes the Act itself, literature from the EU, literature from software vendors and IT services providers, auditors, solicitors and so on. There are academic research papers written from all sorts of perspectives. I have researched European, American and even Japanese ones. I have also looked at magazine and journal articles, YouTube videos, podcasts and advice notes from cloud service providers such as Google and Dropbox. I am a software designer and developer and I am particularly interested in privacy by design, which is one of the main concepts of the GDPR. Data privacy should be taken into account from the very first design phase. It will also have to be retrospectively applied to existing IT systems, so I particularly concentrated on literature and articles that address the topic of privacy by design and give some ideas on how this could be implemented. As a UK national, I'm also particularly interested in the psychology of GDPR compliance. There are a lot of SMEs in the UK who seem to think that the new law will not apply to them, as we're due to leave the EU in March 2019. I have personally met people who believe this to be the case. The GDPR will be implemented long before Brexit takes place, and in any case I believe it to be a much safer law than the old Data Protection Act. Data subjects will have a lot more protection and rights. Non-compliant organisations will be properly held to account in the event of a data breach. For example, Sony were fined a mere quarter of a million pounds for their PlayStation breach in 2011. If this were to occur under the new GDPR, the fine would be anything up to 4% of their annual worldwide turnover, or 20 million euros, whichever is the higher. I will be citing journal and magazine articles on this phenomenon, and possibly even conducting some original research on how I believe that business owners feel the GDPR will affect them. I personally am the treasurer of a Scottish registered charity, and the GDPR will affect us. I am also a consultant for a company in the US and it will affect them too. That's why we need research and articles from various international sources and also ones from different business perspectives. Small businesses, large businesses, type of organisation, types of data held and processed and so on. There is a lot of work to do and the psychological mindset of business owners is interesting to me from both a personal and an academic perspective. Thank you very much for listening and goodbye for now.